What up party people? Wanted to get up on a hill today. I would say mountain, but I live on the bleeding Isle of Wight and there ain't none. So my good ladies joined me for the first part and I'm walking up and over that bad boy, over to the cliffs. Already, my day started to go bad. I bought a brand new watch for an upcoming adventure because I don't want to be charging my smartwatch. And this watch has on it a feature that 90% of men want. I'll just show you that. Anyhow, I broke the strap instantly within three minutes of wearing it. Huh. Should be a good night. Last time I camped up here, I had the uh, Isle of Wight suicide prevention come and pay me a visit, which was nice. Brown bleds behind me, look. Walk in the hunt. Not ours. We dog sit a lot. So yeah, you don't really want to listen to me wheezing. I'll, uh, oh, just trod straight in that cow turd. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know what goes on if anything interesting happens. New little tripod, look, rather than carry me big one with me. Link in description below. Oh, before I do forget, I want to do a quick shout out to someone. I have got some kit on the way from them and have had kit before. But I wanted to do it when I haven't got the kit because I genuinely like what he's doing. And that is South Coast Outdoors or Outdoor Gear Essentials as his shop is known. Purely because he is he's getting in touch with a lot of cottage industries in the mainland UK. Don't know why I had to say the mainland UK. In the UK. And uh, stuff like catapult stoves and all this sort of thing. Which is brilliant because I've been calling for that sort of thing forever so go and have a look at outdoor gears essential his name's cole really nice bloke that is all that's cold outside it's so long since we've been deep in the woods with the fat lad we need to step away from the screens Go pack a bag, whip up some lunch You need a break from the wife's flatulence You've been too long inside, you're about to buzz Just let us out and let us dream and Go wherever we want with extra cream All the way to the top And you know we won't stop As the penny drop, you gotta step away Bloody GoPro us. ruined it again What well, I was saying before I was rudely interrupted you can't see them anymore. Two massive great big birds of prey flying above me head. Definitely look bigger than a buzzard. And we have got white-tailed eagles over here, sea eagles, whatever they call them. So if I did manage to get any footage before my tech kicked me in the dick, any of you Twitchers out there, leave a comment below, tell me what you think. But they were quite big like, talking to big birds, are you all right? Yep, she's happy. I'm saying goodbye to my beautiful wife. I'm losing that view, but I'm gaining that view. See you in the morning. <laughs> See you in the morning. Quarter seven. Right. So what's that, an half hour walk? Yeah, but. Looks like I'm getting up early. See you later, Arden. That was even English and everything. Send nudes. She won't. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, make my way up to the top, have a mooch around because it's still a pretty light and I can't put me my shelter up yet. I am using the Zelta shelter again tonight, but I've taken that bloody inflatable thing out and I will be using a pole and guiding it out. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to give me more space because the materials and everything of it are brilliant but the execution with that blow up thing as you all know if you've seen my vids i weren't overly happy with so i'm going down up see who's about maybe knock up a brew yeah nice and simple meal tonight got some chicken with me and some stir fry type noodles chicken stir fry 
I've wrapped them up in two separate portions, so I can do one. If it's any good, I can do another one a bit later. Waffling enough for you? Thought so. That ain't a bad little spot behind me. Um, I could have hammocked after all. The only trouble is, there is loads of fresh cow pats about. So if I'm in a tent, stroke Zelta shelter, that ain't ideal. Also, with it being in a dip, I would quite like to get some sort of star laps over that. If it's clear tonight, it's meant to be cloudy, which will suck a bit. But we'll keep looking. Plenty of spots. It's a big old down up here. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Lovely little spot on the ledge. You are, you are surrounded by paths and stuff, but between the hours of darkness, with the exception of the odd occasional dogger and suicide watch, you're not gonna get bothered too much. Now, um, as you can see, it is pretty windy. I've dealt with wind before. That is proper blowing a hooli. You probably can't tell because I've got the uh, thing on. Oh, a couple of seagulls having a scrap. Fill him in. Um, so yeah, this is an option. I might come back here in a bit. I'm going to go for a mooch anyway. So I need the exercise. But, you know what I mean? Look at it. There are more views over the back though. So I'll see what happens. So we've got the Sanitaf stroke war memorial type thing up there i don't actually know what it's for um i've looked at it loads of times and yeah i'll have a look in the morning or so if it's light because my wife's picking me up early but heartbreakingly this area is used quite a lot for suicide um majority men as well which brings us back to the men's mental health which so many of the youtubers support hazy ash outdoors Many, many, many of them. Um, I sort of do with the combat stress, but that's for veterans, which again is still mainly men. But obviously, service women are greatly affected by that too. Keep your eye out in the next month or so, because I will be announcing my challenge, which is gonna be a doozy. Anyway, enough of that. Behind us. That is Sandown Bay and beyond. And when I get round the corner here, I'll show you Benbridge, which is where all the potions live. So down in Sandown, you're on your white lightning, just around the corner, they're on their bolly. So last time I was here, I stayed right over there on the point because you can see Benbridge over there in the distance. And right over there, you might just be able to make out Peru. Not Portsmouth or anything like that, it's definitely Peru. And then once again, behind me, I've still got the cliffs around Sandown, Shanklin, Ventnor and whatnot. As you can see, you've got the beacon here, which is still used today to let the locals know when there's gonna be a hanging. And I'll take you down there at a moment, where there's a lot of this stuff. Strategic sea defences. In fact, I don't need to walk far at all to show you. If I had have bought my... See them all right? If I had have bought the inflatable thing, I could have parked up there, been sheltered and all that sort of stuff. But I know I keep mentioning them because I'm not making it up. Just over there, it's Dogger's Delight. There's a car park where they come up and flash. Um, and yeah, bit of algae father. Last time I was here, it was about 10, 11 o'clock at night. There were still loads of torches and stuff going off. And that was a howling night. So they're committed to the calls. I'll give them that. So yeah, not really wanting to stay close to the action, if you know what I mean. I'm going to have a moose though. I might jump down there and make myself a brew because I need to wait until the light goes till I set up. Good here though, innit? 
bit bleeding windy. A solo camp hammock under the light of the moon. And sometimes you bring bramble head. If you're lucky, you might get some poon tang. It's more likely with Johnny. We've seen the way you look at him. And the fear in his eyes as he zips up the tent again Just let us out and let us dream And go wherever we want with extra cream All the way to the top And you know we won't stop as the penny drop You gotta step away from the screens Step away from this the screens really does boil my piss It's one thing to have a bit of history here where people put their lives on the line. And another thing, the tow rags just to smash bottles and, I mean, the dang wrong bit of chalk. Uh, Norks and crosses ain't gonna hurt no one, but there's plenty of graffiti up the other side. You know, half me thinks at least they're outside, but I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I ever graffitied as a nipper. And there we have views of Bembridge and Doggers International. They love a bit of it. Nothing says beauty spot like a frozen pizza, does it? So, it's about four o'clock, half four now. Light's beginning to fade. I'm gonna have a quick brew. You have a lot of people out there that use their Carlos Fandango stoves, hundreds of pounds worth. Four or five years I've been using this, and it's, well, fancy free stove. Two old scrap bits of tin with a bit of insulation, and it is still going strong. I love it. Probably my most used stove out of all the ones I have. Love it. Ah, oh, it's good here. Still people walking around. Once it's too dark for the GoPro, I'll go find me spot. It's a shame. The spot I stayed in before, it is perfect, apart from Dogger's Alley and, yeah, Suicide Watch. So, we'll find another one. Oh, it's good to be out. That temperature's dropping now. I'm meant to be uh, about two degrees tonight, which hopefully means these clouds are clear and I can get some star lapses. But I ain't too worried about the cold. I've got a nice warm DOS bag. And the shelter's definitely windproof in that. So it should be a good night. Oh, that's a rubbish brew. I've got to start bringing out coffee bags with me. You know, the washable muslin bags. See how that works. Because that is terrible. See if I can get more coffee than whiter. That might help. Still trying to avoid the most, best I can single use plastics. And there's going to be some of you going, what about the bottle? I've had that over two and a half years. I used it on the coast to coast. So, although it is apparently a single-use plastic. I've used it on every single trip for two and a half years, which is a lot of bleeding trips. Still not ideal, and I've just burst my bag, which means I'm going to have coffee all over the place. hey oh It's got to fit back in the cup somehow. Time you see me, I'll probably be setting up in the dark. Oh, the question is do I make life hard for myself and pitch up open this cloud clears, which is not meant to, and get battered by the wind all night, have trouble cooking and all that? What? 
or do I go for the sheltered spot and sacrifice a bit of my view? And when I say view, it's only my time-lapse view. Because I can get up and move around. But I ain't doing it at three o'clock in the morning for a couple of hours just to get some twinkly lights. It is stunning though, isn't it? Really hard to get height on this island. I mean, we'll be lucky if we're three, 400 feet up here. If only we had a mountain range. But when you're only 26 miles long and 13 miles wide, you're limited. <coughs> oh, I'm gonna go check out the sheltered area just to see how suitable it is. Because I'm getting bloody hungry. Right, common sense got the better of me and I've gone completely against the grain and I've taken a sheltered spot which is actually out of eyesight if people were to get up and walk. Hang on. <coughs> um, for those that have seen my other vids on the Zelta shelter, that's how small the bad boy packs when you get rid of that inflatable thing. Immediately, much better. So, I'm gonna whack her up now. Um, you don't need to see it. There's a link somewhere. I'm not going to point Burton Outdoors because I know how you hate it. Of more of you of the thing or my mods of it. I'm going to get it set up now while I've still got a little bit of light. So let's have a little look at her. As you can see, she is much more taut. Oh, just trip over that much more secure, nothing's gonna fold in on me. Now, a few things that still bug me. All these points that are off center means you can't get her perfectly stretched out. I know why he done it. What I've had to do at the moment is I've actually had to attach my guy line to the pole and tuck that up and under, purely because I'm not expecting too much wind. But with the tarp clip on there, rather than using this one, much, much better. If we do get a lot of wind tonight, that stands a chance of popping out and collapsing down on me. And then I'll just go for plan B and use the pole. Uh, sorry, the uh, tie out. Now I could tie the tie out to the pole. Not a big deal. You know, it might stop it happening. But, you know, you've got one there which is perfectly on the corner. One at the back that is perfectly on the corner. Gives you your foot box still coming out there, which is still too small. But, as a shelter for this sort of, it took me probably a minute and a half to put up. It's gonna be good for tonight. I can whack all my stuff in that corner. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll keep that nice and tall. We'll see how we go, won't we? It's a wild camp. It ain't the four seasons. I'm gonna get all my kit inside and all that sort of jazz. See you when I'm cooking. So inside I've got my non-slip mat from Cole, Outdoor Gear Essentials. Great bit of kit, really, really rate it. A decathlon um, roll mat and a, uh, what's it called? A douille, a bouille, a da -douille. I've done a review on it. I'll be honest with you, the reason why I bought the other mats, I've used that three, maybe four times. And last time I went out, it definitely had gone down on me quite a bit. I could feel the floor in the morning. So I'm going to pump her up, I'm going to use her, and uh, I'll report back in the morning. Because I'm not going to promote crap if it only lasts a couple of trips. If it does let itself down in the morning, I'll, I'll say it in the morning, but I'll give you the link of the video so you know which one I bought, so you know which one to avoid. Long though. Right, scoff tonight. Could not be simpler. I've got some of the soba noodles. These noodles, you add the sauce in afterwards and they are without doubt the tastiest, cheap and nasty noodles you can get. What you do is you tip the water out and then you um, add the sauce after. So while they're boiling away in the water, I'm going to fry up some chicken Add the noodles to the chicken, add the sauce, chicken stir fry. I'm actually looking forward to it. What I've done, I've bought myself two portions worth. 
just in case it is really good and I can smash into another one because I like my food as you can tell oh so as you know I'm not one to bail on a camp um, I've only ever done it once but I have heard a lot of groaning cows just the other side of the edge and coming down off the top there there is definitely a path or track that they have used before I've whipped up and had a look I couldn't actually see them so fingers crossed they won't come down and bother me if they do everything's in a bag you know what I mean that tent bivy shelter whatever you want to call it is effectively a bag what you are going to get as well in the comments because I had people the closest thing I can relate that shelter to is a bivy really um, and as you'll see maybe later if you can because it's really tight in there with the air pads and stuff they're ooped up like that on the sides not much room there isn't much leg room in it anyway we'll see how it goes tonight you know I've I've been impressed with how it handles wind and stuff like that um, purely because nothing comes in the condensation wasn't too bad you've got zips and vents that you can open and it's worked all right it's noisy and flappy not tonight because it's nice and calm where I've pet up, uh, pitched up so I'll be interested to see how much more room that offers me for a whole night's use because um, yeah I do want to use it again it is a handy bit of kit it packs up small very very quick to put up and it could be very useful has got its drawbacks though and I've just realised that it's going to burn me to bug eat because the hand line out it's still going to burn me to bug eat like anyhow I'll show you the food when it's cooking just what I didn't want to happen I dumped half my noodles on the ground emptying it out in there because I'll pick some of them up. Right. Man I'm glad I bought two packs. Some of that green is seasoning but a lot of it is grass. I can't believe I've done that, what a plank. Give it a try. Mm -hmm. It is good though. Just fry off a little bit more and then dig in. Mm-hmm. Mm. Tell you what, for a cheap, cheerful, quickie meal, that is some tasty scran. Could have done with twice the amount of noodles, right? But that's me. Ain't the noodles fault. What a twat. Worst thing is, it's only over there and all where I was empty in the water. So no doubt there'll be foxes and all sorts coming around the tent tonight. Mm -hmm. The old uh, frying pan. Wild Camping International, thank you guys. Um, I like it, it's got nice high sides, you can use it as a plate, it takes the heat well. Don't seem to have burnt on the fancy feast, which is good. Happy days. We don't need to listen to me, chomp, dear. Because I bleed native. Mmm, just in. Well, the stars are making an appearance. The owls are hooting behind me, which is good, yeah. Got my second bit of scran on the go. No alcohol tonight, because I need to shed some timber for May. I reckon about two stone to do it. <laughs> oh. Really peacefully, I like it. It's a good spot, really good spot. 
Now I need to do is stop disturbing the silence by talking to you lot. Enough steam for you. Yeah, the, the old bitey buggers are out as well. I'll be right when I'm zipped up in there, sweating. Not a lot to tell you guys. It's a nice chilled solo. Just what the doctor ordered. Hopefully I won't dump half my noodles again this time and I'll get a full plateful. <laughs> right. Don't know what time it is. It ain't late. It ain't late at all. But I'm going to get inside my scratcher and continue in listening to podcasts. I'm addicted at the moment to Gossip Mongers, which is a Joe Wilkinson podcast. Funny as flip. Stars are out. It's a beautiful night. There's plenty of weird old noises going on. Do sound like cows, but they sound like cows that are treading on Lego. We'll find out, won't we? I'll be right. Always wanted to ride a cow. Anyhow, this is probably a uh, proper, proper shaky because I'm holding me my normal camera rather than my GoPro because I've just set that up for a time lapse. See you inside tent. Right, so I'm inside the shelter. Got plenty of room above me. Got my kit in next to me. I am right up close to the side. Let's have a look, see if you can see down. Not massive amounts of room. You can't see my feet, but they're touching the top of it. So, no doubt, come tomorrow morning, my DOS bag will be a bit damp down there, but I've got the zips open up top for a bit of ventilation. I might open the hood for a bit of ventilation, but it's warm. No wind at all coming in here. Not that it's very windy out. It's not flapping or moving around, which is a bonus. I've got to try and go through my kit, which is going to be a bit of a nightmare to try and find my headphones. But, podcast on! See you in the morning. Morning. Well, not a huge amount of report. The bloody mat did go down, not completely, but enough for it to be uncomfortable. And weirdly, I'm not sure what I'm going to say. The condensation in this was terrible, but it only seemed to happen on one side of the tent. Literally, from the centre and over, only one side of the tent got wet which wasn't the way my head was facing. And my big, fat, wheezing breath. You know, there we go. I'm gonna start dragging all this crap out. It's still pitch black outside, you ain't gonna see a lot. Um, Cause I've gotta mooch down and see my wife. Oh yeah. Well, it only said, um, it was meant to get down to about four, three, four degrees last night. The outside of my Zelta shell was definitely frozen. And there's a load of frost on the ground. So, me thinks it is a little bit colder. I've got a banging headache. Banging headache all bleeding night. I'd like to uh, update my statement. It was completely covered in condensation inside. Up until when I went to sleep at about two o'clock, it was only one side, which was weird. But no, it's all wet. Right, all packed up. Didn't take long at all. Um, you're not going to get much filming on the way out because as you can tell it is proper proper pitch black um yeah really really cold out still 
Still got a banging headache. The one day I forgot my paracetamol. But it was a great night up until the point that it started hurting. Other than that, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, kit worked with the exception of the mat going down. The shelter done what I thought the shelter would do, but I was warm and snug. Sleeping bag was brilliant as always. Yeah, all in all, a cracking night. So, until next time. Ta-ra!